In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to download Sodium for Minecraft 1.21.5. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and load into the Minecraft launcher. You want to make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected and from here you want to go ahead and load into the latest release which of course is Minecraft 1.21.5. So anyways, once you went ahead and selected the later release, go ahead and press on play. Alright guys, so here we are in Minecraft 1.21.5. Now we need to go ahead and actually load into this installation before we get any mods. But anyways, once you went ahead and loaded into it, you can go ahead and just close out of it like you normally would the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment and from there it is going to take you to a page that does look like this and it is going to give you a written step-by-step -step guide but it is also going to provide you with all the files and the tools you will need in order to download sodium so we just did step number one which is to load into minecraft 1.21 so step number two is to actually download the sodium mod. So all you want to do is you want to locate step number two. Then you want to go ahead and press on the blue link right over here. And then it is going to bring you to the direct download to sodium. So yep, here it is. So now all we need to do is we need to go ahead and select on game versions over here. Then you want to go ahead and press on Minecraft 1.21.5. And as you're able to tell, yep, it is right over here. So all we need to do is we need to press on this button that does say download. And there you go, it is now installed onto our device. Now for clarity purposes of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and drag in and drop the installation to my desktop just to make things a bit easier. But obviously you could always find your file just by looking through your downloads folder. But anyways guys, once you're done with that, you wanna go ahead and return back to the page. Then you wanna go ahead and do step number three, which is to download the fabric mod loader. Now in order to run mods like Sodium, you will need a mod loader. And for this video, we're gonna be using the fabric mod loader and it's incredible easy to download so all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on the blue link over here that is underneath step number three so let's go ahead and press on it like so and then it is going to bring us to a page that looks like this and from here we need to go ahead and press on download universal jar just like so and then there you go we now have the fabric installer installation over here so let's go ahead and just drag and drop it to our desktop like so so we should have two files at the moment. We have the Sodium mod right over here and we have the Fabric installer right here. All right, so once you're done with that, you can go ahead and proceed to the next step. The next step is to make sure that you do have Java installed on your device. Now, in order to run any type of .jar files and mods or shaders or stuff like that, you will need to go ahead and install Java on your device. And the direct download is right over here underneath step number four. So let's go ahead and press on it like so. And then it is gonna bring you to a page that does look like this. So basically from here, you wanna go ahead and select on your operating system. So we have for Linux, Mac OS, or on Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows. So I would go ahead and select on Windows right over here, and then I would go ahead and install the x64 installer. And basically, Java will allow you to run mods, shaders, all that good stuff, and it is essential that you guys download it, and you're gonna use this whenever you're trying to like download mods and stuff like that. But if you're running into some troubles when you're trying to download Java, do not worry because there's actually some possible fixes that we can go ahead and do, and that is running the jarfix file. The jarfix file will essentially attempt to repair all of your Java files and make Java work. So this step is only optional and you should only do this if you're running into issues when you're installing Java. However, I do think that this step is crucial to know just in case in the future you run into some issues with Java or something like that. But basically, you gotta go ahead and press on this link right over here. Then you gotta go ahead and press on jarfix.exe and it is gonna run a file on your computer that it is going to attempt to repair all of your Java Java files but anyways guys once you got Java and once you got these two files you are good to go so what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and locate the fabric installer file which is right over here from here you want to go ahead and right click on it then you want to go ahead and press on open with and if you did download Java then you should see the option that does say Java TM platform SE binary and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on it just like so then just wait for a moment and then it is going to give you a menu that looks like this where it says Minecraft version. You want to make sure that Minecraft 1.21.5 is actually selected. It is also going to tell you where in your device it is actually going to install the fabric installer. So keep that in mind. You guys could also change it if you want and make sure that the button that does say create profile is actually turned on. So yep, it is checked on. So now from here, we can go ahead and just press on install. And then there you go. Go ahead and press on OK once it said that it is successfully installed. From here, you can go ahead and close out and then you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. All right, guys, so here we are in the Minecraft launcher. And if you actually go over here to the version selector, you should notice that it will automatically pick the fabric loader for Minecraft 1.21.5. But if you do not see that as the case, do not worry. What you want to do is you want to go to this top menu over here and select on installations. 
and you want to make sure that the box that says modded is actually turned on because this is actually considered a modded version of Minecraft. So it is important that this box is actually turned on. But anyways, guys, once you turn on that box, then you want to go ahead and press on new installation. Then where it says version, you want to go ahead and look up release fabric loader. And then it should be right over here. It will say 1.21.5. So um, yeah, that is definitely another option that you guys could do. But anyways, you want to be in this page over here because now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up the mod folder for the fabric loader installation. In order to do that, all we need to do is we need to locate it over here. We need to go to the right and we need to select on this folder icon over here and it will say open installations folder. So go ahead and just press on it like so. And then it is going to open up a bunch of folders. But guys, do not be worried. All we need to do is we need to go ahead and scroll down and locate the folder that says mods. And if for whatever reason you don't see the folder that says mods, you can always go ahead and make the folder yourself by just right clicking, then pressing on it new and then press on folder. And you want to go ahead and name the folder mods in all lowercase. But anyways, guys, all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and open up the mods folder just like so. So at the moment, it is empty. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dragging and dropping the sodium download inside of here. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. So we're just going to go ahead and drag it in here. There you go. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of the mods folder right over here. Then go back to the Minecraft launcher. Then go to the top menu, select on play. Make sure that fabric loader 1.21.5 is actually selected. Then go ahead and press on play one more time. Make sure to go ahead and press on this box that says I understand. Then go ahead and press on play. From here, you want to go ahead and wait for Minecraft 1.21 to actually load. All right, guys, and here we are in Minecraft 1.21.5, and you'll notice that it will say fabric and then modded right over here. So that is how you know that it actually did work. And from here, you want to go ahead and load into a Minecraft world. All right, guys, so here we are. And if we actually go ahead and go to the video settings, you will notice that it will be completely different. And this is basically the sodium menu right over here. And you guys can go ahead and just fiddle around with it and make sure to optimize it to your game so you're able to get the best performance. If you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. See you later, French fries.